we've just had an incredible day here. Jamie, who was the competition winner, he's just left. Myself and Taylor made set ourselves a huge challenge. We gave ourselves two hours to see how much of a difference we could make to his game through a lesson and a fitting into the new fairy woods or rescues. We also set Jamie a huge challenge at the end. And right before that challenge, I gave him some advice, which was an absolute game changer. If he fails, then you're gonna to get to win something because I'm gonna give away some prizes. So we've got two hours to see how much of a difference we can make. Let's get started, let's meet Jamie and see what he's got in his golf bag. Right, so this is Jamie. Congratulations on winning this. Thank you very much. Let's talk us through your golf bag. Looking at this bag, I'm seeing a five iron here, and then a three wood here, but nothing no. kind of in there. Um, I think I do struggle um, anything past my seven, um, anything between that, beyond that 150 to 200 yards, um, there's just nothing in my bag that gets me there. Your club tends to swing a fair bit to the right of that, and it's then down to you to say, well, can you close the face enough? You also mentioned that your ball flight was quite low. Yeah. But the more that you swing to the right, the more that you have to close it. Yep. And we know that when you close it, it tends to de-loft it. Yeah. Yep. So our job today is to keep the head a little bit more centered. And what we were just mentioning before about if we change what your upper body does, you know, if I move my head sort of forward and, and down, that will influence the golf clubs. Okay. Now, if I said to you, keep this left shoulder low and move it around behind you this way. Okay, hold it there. Straight away, see, well, it's still different to the, yeah. to the club. Okay, so what we're going to do is, first of all, I just want you to hit me a couple of shots. We're just going to work on the backswing. So you can hopefully feel my golf club against your head. Yep. Okay, so just do me a backswing, feeling like you don't put any pressure on it. Perfect. Good. So at this stage now, we understand what we're trying to do. Okay, now we might have to work on creating your own feels and ideas to achieve that. Yep. So it may well be that in order to, you know, not move the head, you might have to actually intentionally think about moving it towards the target. Yep. Now we don't want that to happen, but these are the, the fields that we need to explore sure. until we get the thing that we want, okay? Yep. There we go, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you're gonna go on a course where there's no video, there's no mirror. Yep. So all you've got over the ball is, this is what it, I know it feels like this. Yes. And then that's what you latch onto, yep. okay? Better, good. Yep. So what we've got, a little obstacle. Yep. Okay, something which is there as a, as a reference point, okay? okay? So if I'd put that there previously, as you did a goal sing, you'd have clattered into it due to where the, the club came from. Okay. So what I want you to do now, take your address, okay? And I want you to just make me a backswing as normal. And you should miss that perfect, okay? Yeah. But what I want you to do now is I want you to think about head and the shoulder. Yep. And using these two to miss that bag. Yep. What I mean by that would be, if I asked you to start down and do this, you would comfortably miss. Yes, that, yeah. Okay, because of what these did. Okay. So as we go up. Much better. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. So you look at where the club is relative to your hands there. Yeah. Okay. And if you look at where it is relative to your hands on this okay. one, so yeah. that's a lot more, a yeah. lot more behind, okay? So straight away, we've got the club moving in a better position with a little bit of thought on what the head's doing, a yep. little bit of a constraint, yep. and then we're a little closer. Okay, good. I like the swing, the swing was good. Okay, I know I'm giving you a lot here, but no, this is, let's see how we go on. Yep. So you've got what you're doing with your upper body. Yep. Grip pressure. Yep. Okay, and then this next one, let's see if you can just be a little bit aware of the face. Okay. So you're gonna come down, you're gonna yep. miss this, Let's see if you can hit the ball with what you feel is the face being slightly open. Beautiful. <laughs> there you go. You've got the tools that you need to be able to hit the ball higher, straighter, and on a more predictable curve. Yep. So based on that last one, yes. try and find the happy medium. Yes. Okay, right, which is yep. now not as far open as that. Okay, and we're going to go high, straight, right out of target. Okay. I'm confident you can do this. Oh, <laughs> perfect. So that yeah. is your golf shot. That is fantastic. There you go. That's your golf shot. Yeah, that's... So that's everything in one swing. That yeah. was a much better a... pivot, which controlled the direction of the club. You controlled the club face, and suddenly it was a slight draw. Yes. But that's like 
That was perfect. Right, we've got just over an hour now to go before we do the challenge with Jamie. So we're gonna go see Stuart, who's gonna sort out that golf bag and get a couple of clubs in there for you, I think. Perfect. Right, let's find him. Brilliant. So as you can see, Jamie's having an incredible experience here and you can have the same experience because we're doing this again next month and you can win yourself a fully fitted set of Stealth 2 irons. You can see all the details here. Just drop down into the description, click the link, get yourself entered and you could be exactly where Jamie is having this same experience. Is that your normal sort of fight with a 7 iron? That's, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Right, so Jamie's just started his fitting. He's with Stuart from TaylorMade who's over there. He's got all the clubs or the table set up with all those different options. I think at the moment they're just he's hitting some drivers because he's just trying to find out what that gap is and, and kind of what he needs to do and what clubs are going to best fit that gap. But Stuart at the moment is just trying to get a picture of where he is in his golf game, what his clubs currently do, and then he's going to know how to move forward. Your average carry on your driver is about 200. Yeah. It runs out to about 240, which is good. Yeah. You've got good speed. Kind of got 155 to 200. So it's, it's trying to find probably a one, 170 and yep. a 185. There yeah. thereabouts, but yeah. the key is it's got to be easy to hit. Distance is important, but it's every time. Yes. So can we give yeah. you something that's going to do it eight out of ten times? So Stuart's looking at filling that gap. He's got options. He's got <clears throat> things like this, which is kind of a UDI, a bit more like a driving iron, and then he's got also got fairway woods. So things like the Stealth and the Stealth Plus, which obviously you can change loft and you've got five woods and seven woods and that kind of stuff. Um, he's also got kind of rescues, which are in here. So he's got a few options to choose from, but it's just a case of trying to figure out what's going to be best for Jamie's game. And he's obviously got all the numbers coming through here on Trackman. But it also is something important to know, everything I give you, unfortunately, everything won't work. No. So if they don't, it's fine. Yep, of it's course. just a process of, not elimination, but... Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So this is one of the seven woods he's just tried. See, it's coming at 23 degrees. This is the HD version, but he's launching it a little on the low side. So he's just trying to get something which pops it up a little bit. So they're just trying another different variation. So this is what Jamie has ended up with. You can see he's going to have a six rescue, 28 degrees, and a four rescue, 22 degrees. And they are literally perfect fits so well in his golf bag right so we're going to go back into my bay now we're going to do the challenge but before we do that i reckon i've got a couple of minutes just to give jamie one little bit of advice i think this could be a massive game changer for him with these new clubs that he's got you definitely want to be treating these like irons yeah you're going to pull a head cover off it yep so it's mentally easy to group it in with the drive and the three wood but in your mind you want to treat it like an iron so these are in your mind irons yep but we still need that ball to be a little bit okay further forward now the beauty for that with you is that the golf club is working on this arc okay. yeah so if your tendency is to swing too far to the right which it was at the start of the session if you hit the ball let's say here your club is traveling out to the right yep if we move the ball further forward it actually gives the club more time to yep sort of straighten up a little bit yep and then it will also have a little bit more loft. You should actually sort of get two mini wins. You should get the club path a little bit straighter. Yep. And it should have a little bit more loft on it. Nice shot. Yeah, that felt good. Really good. You hit a shot. Wherever the ball lands, it basically says it landed X number of feet away from your target. Yep. And it gives you a score of 100. Handicap down at the bottom. Yep. Zero here, 100 here. Yeah. So if you hit your first shot and it landed right on 170 yards, it would give you a score of 100 and that bar would go to here. Yep. Your handicap is 19. Yep. So if we can get this bar above 18, yep. that means that this part of your game yes. is now a strength yes. relative to the rest of your perfect. game. Perfect. That is a perfect start. Yep. So that one. If you do that again, you're off about five handicaps. <laughs> okay, that was perfect. <laughs> Just keep doing that. Yep, here we go. Oh, oh. that's even better. <laughs> that's even better. An A2. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's amazing. <laughs> too, that too far. Yeah, hit it too well. Hit that too far. <laughs> that's great again. I'll tell you what. That's great again. 
I always said I never played well under pressure. That was what, oh. 86. Oh. <laughs> We've taken the net well. So we've got a couple of shots left, but this is impressive so yeah. far. That's an easy game, isn't it? So that one scored you out of 100. A little left, 75. Oh, okay. So you've got one shot left. Oh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Right, we yeah. were looking for something above 18, but you're going to be. <laughs> we'll see where it is now. I mean, there you go. Wow. So that is equivalent of someone off five handicap. I mean, yeah. that is just absolutely phenomenal. So what that's basically telling us is, of a distance of that you know, 170 yards, those shots that you hit there, where they landed, would be what we'd expect from someone who plays around five. Yeah. It's just so incredible. So we've basically taken a golf bag where you had a huge gap between a five iron and your woods, and then we've basically turned it into what is now massive strength yeah. of your game. And that's a big number for me, one, one, 170, 180 yeah. is, is and where I'm This one is gonna be sort of 190. Yep, but yeah. I mean, that is absolutely phenomenal. So we've taken a massive area of the golf bag, which was a bit of a struggle for you, yep. and turned it into something which is a, yeah. a strength. Fantastic. Jamie, that's much. been absolutely yeah. fantastic. I'm glad Appreciate you had a great that. day. We are gonna get brand new ones of these built for you. Perfect. Shipped out to you. So they'll come brand new, wrapped, head covers the lot, and then you can Amazing. Go and thank you so much. No worries, thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate that, thank you.